Uh, well, the route is very straightforward from Ireland uh, to Land's End, from, from, from Land's End uh, across to, to Ushant and, uh, and the Channel de Four, down the Channel de Four, straight south uh, through to through the Raz de Zan, and then you um, come round the corner of Pen Marsh, uh, and it's pretty much straight line all the way down uh, past Belle Isle, Isle de Yeux, which is on the course, and then, uh, and then the Sable de Long. The, the main tactics. I want to try and get so as much local knowledge as possible for for where we're arriving, just to make sure I don't get caught out. And uh, particularly on the coast we're sailing down to, there's going to be it's going to be peak holiday season there. It's going to be boats everywhere, swimmers everywhere, windsurfers, fishing boats. It's going to be carnage. <laughs> so the chances of actually running into something are, are very high, and we'll have to be um, keeping a good lookout. Three is good. We had a first look at the weather this morning. It's um, it's looking okay. It's looking like we have a bit more of a rest than we did last time. Maybe a bit of wind towards the beginning, but then towards the end, to be light winds and more playing around, drifting, maybe anchoring and playing with sea breezes and land breezes and things. As always, getting down the Irish Sea is always a, an interesting uh, exercise. Um, one of the big challenges will probably be getting around uh, around the um, uh, Land's End without getting run over by uh, 300 boats in the Fastnet race coming the other way. So uh, that will be an entertaining challenge. Uh, hopefully we might see a few mates and have a chat with them on the radio. Uh, and then once you get down to uh, the Ushant Peninsula and going through the through the tidal gates down at Ushant and um, uh, around um, sort of the west coast of Brittany, um, that's always going to be ex uh, an interesting exercise for tide and wind as well.